welcome back to the one man startup today we're going to talk about how to make a stateless widget in flutter all right let's get started all right so we have our just flutter demo app here which is just out of the box what flutter gives you when you create a new project a uh, few quick things i want to show you is hot reload is one so if you find in here where you have we find the text that says you've pushed the button this many times. If you change that to just be, just remove this text and you save it, you'll notice it immediately is updating our app right here. So this is really cool because it speeds up the development process um, dramatically because you don't need to compile the app every time you want to make a change and uh, make a change and see it right there live immediately in the app. So save is one, save will work most of the time. If not though, you have to hit uh, control R on a Mac, which will just rerun it. If you hover over this, you can see what the shortcut key is for that. Save will do it if it's like simple things like this. If you add a lot more code, you probably have to just do uh, rerun it with control R. Um, yeah, so that's hot reloading, which is very useful. Um, and definitely, a quicker way to see what you're doing as you're doing it. Um, all right, now we're gonna talk about a stateless widget. We're gonna build a stateless widget. So right now, actually, this is a stateless widget because nothing is actually changing. So you can see that my app extends stateless widget. Let's go ahead and delete all of that inside of there and just get rid of everything else in the project. So right now, we just have my app extend stateless widget. So a stateless widget is just a widget that isn't going to change. It's immutable, which means that the value is not going to change in it. So right now, the the values will, which we delete the code, but the value is just going to be a text string. And you might be thinking, okay, well, it changed when I changed the text, but that's because you're reloading the app. You're rerunning the app. There's nothing in the app that's going to make it change. For instance, the numbers, clicking the numbers up is stateful. That's a stateful widget. And let me actually undo what I deleted here. We can see that this home page is extend state. And this is where we have our counter. So that's a stateful widget because it's it's mutable, it's changing. Um, and the, the text here is stateless because Again, it's immutable. It's just just solid uh, strings. They're just constant strings. Uh, but we'll delete that again. So we're going to start following along the Write Your First Flutter app right from their documentation. We'll break it up into a few videos because we're going to explain in a little bit more detail what's going on. So right now, we actually want to put build a new widget. That's just going to be a bit simpler than what we had. So we can write... Uh, override here. The override here is just a uh, annotation. That means that this class, this my app class, will override anything in a super class above it. It's not necessary 100% right now. It's actually optional, but we'll leave it in. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a widget. Everything in Flutter is a widget, and the widget we want right now is the build widget. The we can remove this and we actually want to return the material the material app this is what we this is very similar to what we just deleted but we're going to walk through it step by step so here we're going to put a title and this is just the title of the the app itself we're not actually using this it's not going to be displayed on the anywhere on the on the page, so we can just put any title. You can go there. The next thing we're going to have is the home. And for home, we're going to build out a scaffold. And then inside the scaffold, we can do our app bar, which is going to be what we have up here. And then the app bar actually takes a widget called app bar. And so with that, we're just going to give it a title and that will take the text widget 
and we can just say my new app. All right, down here you'll notice we have a little red underline here. If you hover over it, you can see what the error is, and we're just missing a semicolon, so add that in. Uh, if we are to save and run this, we'll see we have my new app immediately shows up there. Let's put that in capital. All right, looks good. So we got our title. Now, after the app bar, we want to put the body, and this is going to be the body of our scaffold. So the scaffold is basically just the whole page. So in the body, we will put, uh, we can center this, which is just, again, another widget, the center widget. It's going to center it top, bottom, left, right. And then we can put the text, or actually, in, in here, we going to have a child element, which is a child off body, and that will have text. And we can say, hello world. Right, and when we save that, boom, hello world pops up right there in our hot reload of the app. Now, we don't actually need to return anything here, so we can just delete that. And, okay, cool. So this is a stateless widget that just prints hello world. All right, now let's add an external package to print a random set of words here instead of hello world. So if we go into our stateless Flutter app, which is the name of our project right now, and we go into the pubspecs.yaml and double click that, then we can go, these are all the packages we currently have installed. Right here, we want to add English words. And we're going to use version 3.1.0. All right, save this file and then click this packages get button. And what that's going to do is actually install the package for you. Uh, back in our main, our main file, we can add this import. We can import the package, which is going to be package, and then we can do English. English words, and we want to import English words dot dart and end a semicolon there. You'll notice this is grayed out, and that's just because we're not actually using this package yet. So to use the package in our widget, let's put a create a variable called word pair, and that'll equal a word pair from the package random. So this will equal random word in the package. You'll notice that this is underlined in red, and that's because we need to actually put final here. The reason this needs to be final is because this is a stateless widget, and that means that this creating this as final means that it's a it's a immutable variable. This could also be a variable, but that this means that word pair cannot change. And since it's not going to be changing, since this is stateless, we can just keep it as final. Oh, F I N A L. All right, there we go. Now, we aren't actually using our word pair, which you can also tell because it's grayed out. So let's use that instead of writing hello world. Let's go ahead and call world, oh, let's go ahead and call it word pair dot we can do as Pascal case, which will just make one string of the two words and combine them with both uppercase letters. So now you can see if you run it again, we have straight bear is the next, is the random words generated. If you hit save again, brief trip, it'll just keep changing. But this is stateless. It's every time you run it, it's just going to rerun this my app class. So that's why the words are actually changing. All right, great, so very simple topic right there that we finished covering. Now we have a stateless widget, but we also did a couple things. We imported a package and we saw how hot reloading works. This is a good foundational basics for how Flutter works. Next video, we're gonna talk about stateful widgets. All right, ciao for now.